Hello crew, how are you? So today I've got the wonderful Georgia here with me who teaches the yoga on a Tuesday morning at 9.30. And we're just gonna highlight the benefits of yoga. Simply, um, we're going into our Find the Stronger You Challenge, which will start next week. And I, uh, you know, what I wanna highlight is the power of what yoga, yoga can do for you um, in succeeding in this challenge. But beyond that, it, what it can do for your life and how it should be a part of your training schedule, considering we do so much hard training here at the gym. So I thought we would you know, highlight Georgia today and she's gonna actually talk to you about the benefits and why it is that you need to come to this yoga. All right, okay. Georgia. Um, well, just with the challenge in particular, I think it would be really, yoga would be a great way to find your own inner strength and find a way to use your time in slowing down to become aware of your mindful talk, your inner talk, and um, to learn ways that you can, or learn to just calm that self-chatter, change it into a, a more positive mindset for yourself, but also a really beautiful way to come back to the breath and your body. Um, and yoga is, not just about the movements or the asana practice, but it's something that you can take away with you and take home and live for yourself. It's a way of finding more kindness uh, for yourself, a more ease, um, bringing in more ease and flow to your life, not just with the movements, like that's what we're looking for when we're on the mat, a sense of ease in the breath and the body with the movement, but we also want to find that outside in day-to-day -day life, in the hustle and bustle of being busy, where can we find more ease, flow and things like that. And yoga is a really powerful tool for doing that. And I think it would be nice to incorporate this in the challenge and maybe set yourself the challenge of incorporating a mindful practice or bringing in yoga during this challenge and seeing how that works for you and maybe just taking a note or each day on, on how that actually works for you and yeah it will feel difficult to start with because it's if it's especially if it's not something that you've done before or as you feel comfortable doing or you have reservations around but that's the beauty of a challenge. So um, I welcome anyone that wants to come and try. It is really uh, a nice way to get in touch with yourself, in, especially if you feel disconnected from your breath or your body or uh, are easily overwhelmed with life or, um, yeah, just... I think that's really important and I love that last point. Disconnect is the word that we're using here simply because health is there's so much disconnection, there's so much um, information out there that we become disconnected easy and uh, the whole point yeah. of this challenge is really to connect, okay, being more aware and that was another word that Georgia used is being aware and that's what we want for you is to be more aware of how you're treating yourself. And given that we do all these classes, like, I mean, a lot of these classes, it's just bang, 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 you're doing this. And quite often you can get into this thing where it's robotic. And uh, the whole point of this yoga is to slow you down. So therefore you're aware of what you're doing and how you're doing it and being more kind. And that's exactly what we want is to stop you still and you need to understand, okay, what that kindness is and how it actually impacts you and your life and everybody else around you. So I just love that. Like, I mean, awareness is the key to this. And I think spirituality via um, connecting your body to your, your mind to your body, the muscles and everything else, there's a sense of beauty in that yeah. and a sense of accountability because you actually start taking more responsibility um, in what you do when you actually understand how your body works and what your body needs. Yeah, totally. You, you find that awareness and you, uh, and with awareness you can have more self-acceptance and that's the thing. You're Love not, it. You're not competing against anyone else. You're not, we're not, we're not here to, um, in general, generally speaking, we're not here to be competing against anyone else or comparing ourselves to anyone else even though society will generally push you in that direction, we're really here to come back to ourselves and work out what works best for ourselves and our bodies and 
finding quiet is a, a really nice way of doing that and giving back to yourself and you know just slowing down that hustle 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 and coming back to some quiet and some calm and some kindness and restoring your body instead of depleting it you know so. There you go. There's been some big keys that, um, key words said that Georgia has just highlighted there for you. And it's going to be 14 weeks um, during this challenge. And I think Georgia has just given you um, uh, the best features of what this yoga will do for you. So we're happy to see you um, incorporate this amazing um, session with Georgia, especially her teaching this uh, into your program going into this challenge. Awesome. All right. Thank you, Georgia. All right, you're welcome. Bye. Thanks.